Hello there. Thanks for watching my views and news. Some new stories from Ethiopia and Eritrea. Firstly, Gajam. A big claim about Gajam by Afano, a commander. Which cities of Gajam are under uh, military control where there is functioning uh, government, uh, where there is uh, government, government officials, uh, where they are working. A final commander spoke about Gurjum uh, today. Details for you. Secondly, Amhara diaspora organizations raising funds for a Fano of fighters. A program was organized in the US uh, where AAA raised a large sum of money reportedly. Thirdly, Denver, US, where again Brigade Nehamed opposition, Eritrean group members tried to stop a festival there. But alarming thing is that uh, some people were armed there uh, on pro Eritrean government group side, some people were seen armed. So this escalation between Eritrean groups is now becoming really dangerous for Eritrean community abroad. Firstly, viewers, uh, Gojum, East Gojum, West Gojum, pain in the side of Ethiopian military, PMRB's government. Uh, Gojum strategic shares border with Oromia and uh, in Gojum, there is Bahirdar, which is Amhara regional capital. Top Amhara federal government officials are from Gojum. Arega Kabbede, the president, new president of Amhara from Gojum. Tamaskan Tirone, I think, is also from Gojum, who is uh, head of uh, state of emergency uh, uh, board. Afano commander today made some claims about Gurjum. How many cities of Gurjum are under military control where there is uh, a government, functioning a government, functional government in uh, Gurjum? The commander mentioned only three places, that in only three cities. Military and PP are in control. Firstly, Bahirdar. Uh, yes, uh, we know that Bahirdar is under uh, military control, regional government there too, uh, city government also functioning. We have seen some attacks by Fano in Bahirdar within the past one week, two attacks, but largely Bahirdar under military control. But Bahirdar is home to a regional government uh, office too. So from Bahidar, region is controlled. Bahidar is functional to the extent of Bahidar city government. Secondly, Finote Silam, where a dawn strike was conducted a few weeks ago. It seems that uh, military, Ethiopian military has taken full control of Finote Silam strategic area, uh, prosperity party, city government working in Finote Silam. Third city in Gojum where military and uh, prosperity party government are operating is a Debre Morkos. Though uh, the city has changed hands several times, Fano fighters infiltrated Debre Morkos a few days ago. Uh, they retreated, then again they re-entered Debre Morkos. There was fighting in Debre Morkos city for uh, around two to three days for around two to three days. Now it seems that military has consolidated its control of Debre Morkos because confirmation is coming from the Fano commander who is saying Debre Morkos for the Salam and Bahidar are under military control. And he said all other towns, villages are not under military control. There is no uh, functional government uh, in other parts of Gojum, East Gojum, West Gojum. 
what Fano Commander said is largely true. Yes, uh, Gurjum is the most destabilized zone uh, and Gurjum is the one uh, where we are seeing humanitarian disaster too. Hospitals running out of supplies, businesses closed, networks closed, uh, transport services suspended, people unable to uh, go out of their homes, uh, educational activities disrupted. So, a lot is happening in Gajam but not being reported. Military in partial control of a few cities, otherwise uh, Fano fighters uh, they're in control of town cities or they're in a position to make the town cities ungovernable whenever they uh, want to. Second of yours, uh, US uh, where AAA held a fundraising program last night. Amhara Association of America organized a fundraising program where its chief, Jordan Sturfis, spoke to uh, Money was raised, funds were raised for the groups fighting in the Amhara region. And uh, two days ago, we saw AAA members and Mihaza Muhammad uh, holding a meeting with US congressmen and senators. So they met with Mike Hammer, too, who is a US special envoy to the Horn of Africa. I wonder. Uh, will these uh, diaspora organizations support ceasefire? Will this support uh, uh, talks between Fano and military, Fano and government? Because sometimes war becomes a money making uh, business for people. Because through the conflict in Amhara, uh, People are now raising money uh, and if you remember uh, some people from the Amhara group a few days ago they raised questions about this money which is being raised abroad. Uh, I think an Amhara businessman was heard saying that funds raised uh, in foreign countries were not reaching those who were fighting, uh, those who were fighting in the Amhara region. So, some of these groups, I am not accusing AAA, uh, but several organizations, individuals are raising funds in diaspora. AAA, Ethio 360 journalists and several other uh, organizations uh, and individuals. Uh, and uh, will there be any audit of this money? Of course, Skandar Naga's representative, uh, David Volde Georges, is also raising money. East Amhara Fano's uh, Mere Vodajo appointed a new man to collect funds abroad a few days ago. So, several groups, several organizations, and individuals are uh, raising funds in the name of Fano. But no one knows uh, is this money reaching the Fano fighters or not. I think at least, at least all these organizations and individuals who are raising money in the name of FANU, they should make their accounts public in terms of collection of money. How much money has been raised by these groups? Where is this money? Of course, if they don't want to disclose the sending of money, they cannot keep it uh, hidden, but at least they should tell how much money has been raised so far in the name of the conflict in the Amhara region. Uh, some clips for you from the US showing this AAA event. Before that, Denver, US, where another program uh, organized by Eritrean pro-government community was the scene of confrontation between pro Eritrean government and Brigade Nehamedo members. Uh, Brigade Nehamedo members are saying that they closed this uh, program in Denver, US today. Alarmingly, some Eritreans were seen armed today in Denver while the two sides were uh, confronting each other. 
some people were seen armed brigadier of the members say that those who were armed were from government side so the tension between these irritian groups is now reaching a level where uh, these people who are attending programs they arm themselves and in israel to uh, some people were injured they received bullet wounds and police said it only uh, in its fire only three people were injured it means there were some others too who were armed and that led uh, to people receiving bullet wounds uh, in denver luckily there was no uh armed confrontation but uh, the temperature of this uh, confrontation between irritian groups is escalating escalating very rapidly and so far no intervention i have not seen any irritian organization calling for restraint or announcing the formation of some platform for uh, bilateral discussion between these two groups rather diaspora is being split into three groups one pro iranian government secondly opposition thirdly neutral largely silent clips for you from us showing triple a fundraising program there and secondly clips of you again from us showing a brigade ham the members and uh, pro iranian government groups confronting each other in denver thank you for watching